Hello everyone, welcome to this little vlog. I just wanted to talk about this today, so just to give you a little update. My therapist and I decided today that it's not the right time for me to do therapy. I am way too exhausted, too scared and just a lot of other stuff. So therapy is something very overwhelming. I don't or we don't have like a goal to reach in therapy and we or I have the extreme feeling of pressure from our family to go to therapy. I feel pressured from our psychologist and also kind of from our therapist to fulfill the goal setting and then also reach a goal that we can't even set because I can't think about anything because I'm way too overwhelmed and scared and she's very happy that I talked to her today about what I feel she kind of knew it because she could feel that and she could kind of read my body language and stuff so she was very happy and agreed that therapy shouldn't cause more damage to us than anything else. Therapy should help and not cause more damage and distress and anxiety and everything it's causing me right now. She gave me her phone number so I can contact her any time. She said that I can call her, I can text her and also she said it's okay if I'm ready to do therapy in six weeks, it's okay if it takes a year and it's okay if it takes two years. She said I should take my time and I should do therapy when I'm ready for it and not because I'm forced to do therapy. It's not that I don't want to get better, it's not that I'm lazy, it's not that I don't work, but I don't think I can explain how it feels. You can't imagine how relieved I am about that because I was so anxious and had a lot of panic attacks and it caused me a lot of sleepless nights. Not being able to set a goal, not reach a goal and not getting better in therapy. So I'm very very relieved that I don't have to worry about this right now. I can focus on getting my daily life together and not about how terrible I am in therapy. Also, my relationship with the other altars in our system got a lot better. I have a room now, I said that before, but I also went out of the room for some times and talked to Drew or Jake and just sat down in the living room and just watched them and enjoyed their company, not talking but just being able to I'm not, I'm still scared of other altars and having other altars, but I'm not as scared as I was before. I'm not denying them anymore and I'm trying and working on accepting this. Also something I wanted to mention is that we actually wanted to upload our Meet the System today, but 
yesterday was very very terrible so I no, I, th I think Jake wrote it, he wrote a note where he said that we were very dissociated yesterday and they kept switching in between like six altars and it was very tiring for the body, it was very exhausting for all of our system members also I was super super exhausted after that I was very much overwhelmed by depression and exhaustion and I kind of just I was so tired I slept during the day like I think at least five hours I just woke up at I think 10 or 12 so it was very very an awful day we had a terrible night but during the day I was so sleepy and was so tired Everything was super exhausting, but in the evening our girlfriend came, my girlfriend came and she took care of me, she um, helped to get me food, she brought me something to drink and she just overall took care of myself, which was very very nice and wonderful of her. And. The last thing I wanted to share today is, I never had this before, but today I, when I woke up I had these ones, these ones were kind of wrapped around, around my, my hand, like this, like glove kind of thing. And I have no idea who that did and it kind of, I think it never really happened to me, so just show you right now what I woke up like. I mean I didn't, I did not have my wig on, but I had these kind of gloves, which was a little, I don't know. So I wore these gloves when I woke up, which are kind of self-crafted trolley things. And also I was wearing a kind of self-crafted face mask during sleep, so... I woke up like this. And I have no idea how that got there. So the meat, our system will probably be released on Friday. If we're able to refilm it this week, we have a video about it, but it's super messy and super switchy and it's not finished. So I probably, I will probably put some of the outtakes either in a separate video for you to show how exhausting and sometimes hard switching can be and switching out and just doing filming and stuff for you which is kind of why going to school or working is quite impossible for us at the moment I just hope I uh, will be able to upload it on Friday, so thanks for watching, I hope you liked it and I hope just feel loved and I'm a little confused right now, so I'll just say goodbye since I'm starting to dissociate, so